My dearest friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Kaidi Mari from Heart to Heart and Intuitive Channel and Being and much more. And I'm really excited I'm back with something new. I just, this was pondering, I was pondering about it for a long time. To say that really, I had this idea, I think over one year ago and now I started to go in action and it's really exciting. This is um, my English introduction for the video series for a new show that is called What is Channeling where I talk with different guests. So and I said it's an English video because I will do this introduction video in German and French as well. And I have some English guests. I already recorded some video and the German one as well, with her I did the German and English video. And I have a long list. I hope to invite so much more people to talk about what, what it means for them to channel. And there are French people on this list as well. So I hope I will have by time videos in all these languages. So what these videos are about. Channeling is, um, is a label, a name coming for me from the spiritual community. And I use it here because it brings on point what I try to explore. And there are so much more names, labels, or however you will call it, to this. I explored for myself two years ago that I three years ago, in 2019, that I obviously receive information for other people, receive information. I, I myself, Kaya Helvig, this, this human being here wasn't able to know these informations. I see images as well. And it was really um, interesting, <laughs> exciting and surprising for me. And before I go in my own explanation, how I think how this is functioning, I will read you a little list of questions I, I asked my guests. So they will be, the range will differ because all the interviews are for sure intuitive and aligned and received in that moment. I will ask, when did you find out that you channel or you get information? Were there special event or did you feel or did it felt simply like extended intuition? Or how do you use your gift of channeling? Do you need tools to channel? Or and when yes, what are these tools? Or not? How would you describe how it feels to channel? Do you hear voices? Do your guides talk with you? Do you see images? Does it feel like your own thoughts? Can you locate where the informations you're receiving are coming from? From the heaven, from the universe, from your heart, from the earth, from our souls, whatever. Can you control when you channel or not? Can you stop it? Do you use the gift only for others or does it work for yourself as well? And does it feel like a gift? How do you know that the information you get are channeled or whatever, how you call it, that these informations are coming from a higher source, from another source than your human being, your ego, your mind? Do you think that different people channel different messages? So I ask these questions and I have a little special question at the end always. I will not tell you now. And for me, it is really, it is so interesting to ask others, other intuitives, these questions. So, so it is like a journey for me to explore a world. And I hope you will see it like that as well, or you can find something for you in these talks, in these interviews, and then mostly my, my guests are talking. And I just, I'm convinced that we are all able to receive information from a higher source. Or for me, it's from, I, I, I already, for me, always, I say, I see it like 
there's like um, universal wisdom, like a big, big uh, computer, like a big source where all, all informations are in. Everything on earth is in, is stored, every information, every timeline, past, present, future, stored in this universal wisdom and that we are all connected to this wisdom. And when I, for example, channel for a client or for a full moon, a new moon, or the energies of the month, then I connect. I connect with this wisdom and I get the informations I should give out. What is already, already the, the, the answer for me on these questions, um, if someone thinks that different people receive different information, I think it is like that. That I, I can, I would say for myself, that I receive, that I attract people that have similar topics in life as I have. So there is um, the law of attraction already. Then I know for myself that my information are going through my heart or coming out of my heart or filtered by my heart so they're very lovingly this work for most people and that my heart itself has a vibration that's doing something in the same time as I talk, as I be, as I am here. So what, and this is something very special from this system, this Kaya being here. And so I attract people who are heartbroken, for example, or have experienced similar trauma like I have. As in my system are these informations of the trauma stored and I get at the same time information from this higher source, what the other one needs to know at this moment of time. And for sure, I channel only for people who allow me to channel for them. I will not go in in the system or ask information for people who are not okay with that, who don't know that I do that. This is for me um, very important. And I see like this, that, that um, somebody who asks me, gives me the permission to channel information or to receive information for them. But there is like a connection between the both of us. And then I can ask the universe. And for me, it's mostly very open questions. What does this person need to know at this, this moment of time to go on, to heal, to see, to understand? And for sure, I have clients with very special questions as well. I can ask them and then having a look what answer will come through. And in this, in this process, I would say I'm a channel, but I'm not only the messenger. And I, it's not that I don't have anything to do with this message. I have for sure a responsibility to give it to another one, as I have a responsibility to ask um, for permission. And as I think I had, um, I had a session last week by myself with one of my my guests as well. I will tell them in that session who, who it was. And it was so interesting because I already had thoughts in a certain direction and then I got so much confirmation and found once more interesting how aligned I was to connect this person to have a session, to ask her. She has special gift talent. And it was really perfectly what I needed to know and obviously what I couldn't see clear by myself. What is this question? Can I do this for myself as I do it for others? I can do it to a certain amount and I'm becoming better and better in being more and more aligned. And um, I, I tend to stop that, that openness, that connectedness and cut myself and say, this is my job that I channel and in my private life, I don't do that. But 
is crazy. <laughs> and I can tell the more I listen to to the informations, and for me, it's not, I don't hear voices. It, for, for me, it feels like my own thoughts. And in the meantime, I know they are not my own thoughts. So this is obviously when I paint or when I pull cards, when I write them down, then I, I often look to the universe as well. I notice that when I watch my videos. Um, and I know that their information is coming in, going to my brain, my heart, and coming out of my mouth. So, and it feels like my thoughts. I don't have, hear voices. I see images sometimes. Often. <laughs> I can see images when I channel for others. I can do that for myself as well. I just haven't explored it for myself. And what what I what's coming through in this moment? Why it's for me good from time to time to book a session anyway? It's first of all the other person is not um, controlling what information is coming through as I do for myself for sure. If I want to have some information and there's fear in myself to get a validation of something for example then there is like an inner fight process going on that one one part of me is saying I want to know and another part is saying I don't want to know and when I give this out to another another medium channel intuitive healer however they are calling themselves then the other person is not in this conflict, even when she or he might feel what's going on here and can ask, do you want to know that really? And then I can say yes. And the part in me who will not now will cry and say, no, 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 that the other one is stronger. And for sure, I'm not alone at this moment with information who might be um, painful or not so easy to process when I am with another another one who gets information from me. So the other one is holding space at the same time because I have to process them coming through. So interesting. Um, yeah, I just, I'm really excited. So um, from, when you see this video, it will be the 12th of June. From now on, every Sunday, you will get one of these videos. I already have done five, but one is, uh, with one I did a German and English one they will come out at the same day I have another date next week and I hope this will go on that I can really um, post every Sunday a new episode of what is channeling with beautiful guests I have a long list and what is amazing for this moment of time everybody I asked to be my guest was instantly saying yes so there's a big openness even when they have problems to explain it <laughs> And I think it's it's even so interesting for people who are really used to 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 be connected, aligned, getting information, to put in words how this is functioning in their system. So for me, I see it as a gift. I see it also as something what is not specially given to me. I think what is given to me is my special kind of being with that, giving them out, or that I paint, for example, what is a form of channeling as well, is I don't plan the images, they're coming through really, they want to create, want to be created in a certain way. And I see it as a beautiful gift to help others, and I see it as a beautiful gift to come and flow with life as well, so to stop fighting and survival mode, what I was most in of my life and seeing now when I really, when I'm drawn to something, when I have the idea to call somebody or today is the day to write an email to send it and I follow these do that, then then um, doors are opening. <laughs> Mercury retro gets so while I record this video, I'm still under the influence of Mercury Retrograde, but this will end soon. I feel infected. <laughs> I feel challenged. I feel challenged to grow and, and 
explore communication, what is a big topic for me at the moment um, in relationships. What is beautiful? Not always easy. So I end this video now. I will do maybe today, maybe not today, a uh, French and uh, German one as well, where, where I explain what is coming. And my first guest on the 19th of June will be Zara from Guidance by Bed. She was my first interview partner. We had a beautiful interview, good, good start for the series. And there's so much more beautiful souls coming in. And I hope this will last. And if you would like to step in, if you say just, I, I do that as well, I would like to play with that. Write me, come to me, write me an email or, or on, on Facebook, Instagram, contact me. And then we can meet before for sure. I would love to make a lot of interviews with a lot of very different people and not just highly spiritual people not just women, just men, women, young people, old people, everybody who would like to explain how it's working for this special system, human being to receive information and give them out or not give them out or write books, make pieces of art, theater, photography, whatever. I'm looking forward, I'm excited, I'm happy that this starts now. <laughs> And I send you tons of love. Bye, guys.